Guna Martin is a professor for information systems, and he's a diabetic. He's tried out countless apps intended to improve life with the disease. What are the effects of my behavior on my blood sugar level? Combining health apps with standard sports apps offers a good way to understand and visualize the interplay between the two. People with diabetes have to control their intake of carbohydrates. Every meal has to be calculated in bread units. A food database with detailed information makes that easier for Gunnar Martin. He also uses an app to track his physical activity. And he records his blood sugar levels digitally. It's a simpler way to record data. When you go for a routine checkup, you can bring the app along and don't have to bother with papers or files. Gunnar Martin discusses the recorded data with his doctor, who finds it can be useful for getting a better picture of his patient's condition. But that's not true for everyone. There's a big difference. On the one hand, evaluation is useful when monitoring health. But when does it become neurotic or obsessive? Or can I use these instruments to help people with health problems and thereby treat those problems better? The number of health and fitness apps is huge. There's something for every need. And now Apple is planning a way to compile different medical data. Along with its new smartwatch, the US company is expanding its health app. It'll also include a research kit. The analysis data would be available for research. Health insurers are also interested in the private data. The plan? People who select app-based monitoring would qualify for a bonus program. Consumer protection advocate Kai Vogel warns of the consequences. Healthy young people might be happy to supply the data and that would allow them to use health apps at a discount. But it's different for older people, the chronically ill or those who choose not to record data. That would mean more expensive premiums and would undermine the principle of the social health care system. And patients may be less apt to consult doctors. Detent Truppe fears medical standards could suffer. The problem might arise that health information could take on a life of its own, so that in the end medical services for patients won't come from doctors, but from business models without any quality control. Gunnar Martin is glad he has the chance to record his behavior patterns. He combines his apps with his doctor's advice. And he relies on his doctor for the evaluation. This effort of recording data may lead to people focusing more on the documentation than on the illness itself. Or they just live with their disease and forget to really live. Guna Martin only records data relevant to his disease, so he can enjoy the things in life that can't be measured. Shift says consult a physician 